I taught my dog to talk through buttons, and now I wish I hadn't. I taught my dog to talk, not with her voice, but with her paws. I own a three-year-old bitch on fries called Gidget. They are a remarkably intelligent breed, despite their yappy image. I taught her from a young age to do tricks and obey commands, and she was a bright and eager student. I always felt she had a lot to say. So when I saw videos on TikTok and Instagram of dogs who use program buttons to indicate their needs, I thought I might try it with Gidget. I bought a pack, recorded my voice on the buttons. I kept it simple at first, I gave her buttons to make requests and to ask for things. Outside, food, water, treat, play. After she had mastered those, I added more. I gave her options about where she wanted to go, what things she wanted to eat. She soon learned to pair the buttons up. Outside, park food, chicken. It was amazing to hear her preferences, to know why she whined or barked. As she grew more confident, I added more buttons. These were more philosophical and used concepts rather than nouns and verbs. I wasn't sure Gidget would be able to understand them, but she picked them up so quickly I wished I had introduced them sooner. We discussed the weather, dreams, emotions. She was soon able to tell me if she was happy or sad, tell me she'd had a bad dream, and ask for a particular toy for her playtime. I became obsessed. Her little brain was able to express so much more than I'd ever suspected. I added more buttons. Soon she was able to tell me her mood, ask pertinent questions with the Y button, make decisions based on what I suggested. She also liked to look out of the window and tell me what she saw. It was so interesting. Whilst I might look out of the window and see my neighbor carrying groceries from his car, Gidget would watch the same scene and tell me about the bird she had spotted, or stray leaf she had seen caught by the wind. I was able to see the world through her eyes. She'd been using her buttons to talk for over a year before things started to get disturbing. One day, she stopped playing with her favorite toy, looked into a corner, and walked over to her board. Very deliberately, she selected the button for dark. I left. It was daytime, and the sunlight was shining into every corner. No dark, I told her. White. It's daytime. No dark. I used the buttons to reinforce my message. No. Dark. Light. Day. Gidget listened, but turned her little head back to the corner. After a few minutes she came back to her board. Dark, she said again. I'm afraid I shrugged. Shrugged off her words and the message behind them. I may even have laughed. No dark, I said. Light. Gidget humored me. She was a very clever dog. Sometimes whilst we played she would stop and examine a random wall, hover by her word board ready to tell me what she saw, but my previous reaction must have discouraged her. Time and again she would stamp on the button for dark and I would look at where she looked and deny it. I added more buttons, and with those buttons came more unease. Dark. Stranger. No. Cold. I'd stand where she looked to show her it was okay. She would whine and cry and hit the stranger button. It upset me a lot. After a while, Gidget stopped using her buttons. She regressed. She stopped asking outside and would whine at the door instead. She stopped asking food and would stand by her bowl and cry. I didn't know where I had gone wrong. I stood in the corner she hated more often, trying to understand why she hated it. It was cold there, colder than anywhere else in our home, but very welcoming. I found it soothing, for some reason. But the more I stood there, the more she cried. It started to get annoying. It was just a stupid corner. I'm not sure what to do. Gidget has regressed even more. She has started peeing in the house, which is incredibly frustrating. At first I brushed it off, then I took her to the vets. The vet said there was nothing physically wrong with her and said she seemed stressed. She's a dog. What has a dog got to be stressed about? I'm getting sick of cleaning up puddles of pee. I feel like I should punish her. Gidget won't come near me now. I hold my hand out to coax her. She turns away. Idiot animal. I remember that I loved her once, but that was before I realized how useless she was. She won't even love me, the main reason I got a dog in the first place. I spend more time in my corner and watch the little fluffy beast cringe in her bed. The bed I bought her that she doesn't deserve. I'm watching her now. I've been staring at her for hours now and she has done nothing except shake and cry. She used her buttons for the first time in ages earlier. Where? Mum. Mum. Bye. Stupid creature. Can't she see I'm right here? Or is it too dark?